This is my close encounter with the grasshopper. It was unplanned although a very positive opportunity. I should say, this lost insect is an American grasshopper, judging from its looks and features. Friends, welcome to Sibanga360 in Motion Channel. So far, this is the closest encounter I have had with a grasshopper, properly an American grasshopper in its most probability. It happened one Sunday morning right after being home from the church. I was to move the pot of my one and only parsley from the garage and out for the sun, but good enough, I noticed the grasshopper perched on the pliant stalks. Instead of bringing the container out, I rushed upstairs for the video cam and recorded the unusual encounter. What did I say about the crow video? Yes, I should always have a handy video cam at a moment's notice or at every spar of the moment. Surprises come in package. The container was actually resting on top of the garbage bin, which conveniently gave me a good view of the insect without me stooping down. I had an eye-to-eye -eye contact of, of the brown insect. If you are fond of animation, you can liken the hopper to that character villain in a movie about ants. Only that the grasshopper in front of me is alive and no imagination is necessary to portray one. Actually, this is the first instance I really had a very close, as close as a close-up view, as close as face-to-face -face with a hopper that instance. To my advantage, even if I jiggled the container and let the branches sway, still the hopper was firmly clasping the twigs it was on and would only adjust its hold from time to time. I rotated the pot slowly to give me different angles of the insect, and still it was just reacting to my action with calculated moves of its legs. I wondered if my presence startled the insect or intimidated it, but if it does, it should have jumped away. It did not. I was expecting if I moved the container, it would readily jump out towards the backyard so as I continue filming, it just stayed perched on the plant and did not show any sign it would jump anytime soon. It sent me the message that he is the star of the moment, so just keep filming. And I did. For me, that was good enough. I continued filming the insect. I likened the stubbornness of the grasshopper despite the possible danger to its life, or at least discomfort to my stubbornness in staying on with creating videos. This despite the many intermittent lapses and period of inactivity which I did not post videos and just stayed on the sidelines. My stubbornness is also the sum of my persistence. The YouTube journey is like a roller coaster ride. At first, I just want to post videos and find simple fulfillment by doing so. I never seriously considered or planned to posting the videos so that many may watch. Comment, like, or share my work. The simple knowledge that I made one video and made it available online was a self-fulfillment already. Back to my surprise visitor, Mr. American Grasshopper. After about 15 minutes of captured footage, I left it to decide whether to keep perched on the plant or move on with life outside and seek greener pasture or maybe a partner. True enough, it was gone a few minutes after I left. Before ending this post, I wish to thank my subscribers, non-subscribers, and viewers for your continued patronage. Mabalus po sa Many thanks to all of you.